Hi, I'm Matt Koristoff, and today I'm going to show you how to start, stop, and restart the Varnish Cache HTTP Accelerator. And I'll post uh, full information for this on, on the blog, <coughs> along with code samples for everything. So here we have my, my local host for uh, the website Whale Eclipse, which is a, a comic I maintain. And we can tell that Varnish is not running from the he from the response headers we get when we load this page. Uh, Varnish puts on some, some headers to identify itself so we, we know when it's running or not. So we want to, the first step is to change Apache over to port 80. That's pretty simple to do. We'll open our Apache config. And we'll just change this here. I'm sorry, I said I said 80 before actually meant 8,000. Varnish is going to run on port 80. We also want to change our vhosts. There's two spots. One is a name virtual host and then each individual virtual host record. So I'll use the little find and replace here. And we'll restart Apache. Oops, spelled that wrong. And Apache has restarted. And the last step is just to fire up Varnish. I have the command prepared here already. It looks like a bit much, but once you get your head around everything that's happening, it's pretty simple. So it takes, in, in this case, four parameters. Parameter A, that's where Varnish will be available on port 80, which is the default port that our, our web browser uh, will generally point at. T is where the administrative terminal will run. Uh, that'll be the subject of another post, but we're, we're not using it today. Uh, F is the location of the Varnish configuration file, and this is the, the default spot where the Varnish configuration file is found if you installed with, uh, with Mac ports. And the S parameter, to, to be quite honest, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not positive what it does, but I'm, I'm told it has a performance impact. So I, it ta I take that from a, a Lullabot tutorial that I'll, I'll link on the blog. So, we should be running now, and I'll refresh this page. Everything runs a bit slow while I'm taking a screen recording. But we can see now that we have some headers that were added by Varnish. Okay, uh, that's, uh, that's the easy part. Uh, and, well, honestly, it's all easy part. Uh, next, next thing we want to do is, uh, let's say we've made some change to our VCL file, and we want to reload it. It's easy to do. We just kill varnish and start it again. And when you're done testing your varnish configuration, it's uh, pretty simple to 
shut the whole thing down and switch your system back to normal. So we'll stop Varnish and we need to sw switch our Apache configuration files back to the back to the way they were originally. I'm going to do it this time with uh, with with sed a Unix utility for uh, for editing files. And you can see what what this does here uh, is it's going to search my Apache configuration file for every instance of the number 8000 and replace it with 80. And I'll do the same thing for my vhost file. And then restart Apache. And when I come back here, reload this page, we should see that the special varnish headers are gone from the response and that we're hitting Apache directly. And there we go. The varnish headers are gone. We're getting right through to Apache now.